more games. Welcome back to Wizard PhD. It's Professor Lynette, and today I am telling you all about a mobile AR location based MMORPG called Otherworld Heroes. Before I get started, I want to give a major shout out to the dev team for Otherworld Heroes, and in particular, Eric the CM. Thank you for dealing with me and uh, getting me set up. I do have access to the closed beta of this game, so I'm gonna be opening it up for the first time and reacting to it, uh, but this is just like a little sort of intro to uh, more videos that I plan to make if y'all are interested. I mean, I think it'll be interesting. We'll see. I'm gonna go through though, look at the website, talk a bit about what is what this game is, and then we're gonna look into it. So I'm on the website. Um, I don't remember exactly how I found this game. I think I was just browsing. I was just looking for, um, Jeff for the longest time <laughs> keeps talking about a mobile MMORPG being something that would be really fun for us to play. So a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. That's MMORPG. So I happened to stumble upon this game, found their website, there is a Discord server, which I joined right away just to see like, what's up? And I saw some screenshots, there appear to be clans and leaderboards and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, there's a trailer for the game, and then there are links to get it on Google Play and the App Store. Now, it's currently not available in the App Store in my region, so I'm in the United States. But like I said, I have access to the closed beta, so we'll be able to see what's available through that. But the introduction to the game. Welcome to the world's first and largest AR location-based MMORPG. Explore the world around you to venture deeper into the dimensions of the other world, fight evil monsters, and head out on exciting missions with your friends. In this game, you'll experience something indeed unique. Aid your friends in real-time co-op battle in this location-based adventure. And I read this and I was like, yes, sign me up. I clicked on the link. Um, I do know that they have been slowly adding more countries as they're, they're doing this like uh, soft layout to roll out the game to introduce more countries. And uh, so it's, you know, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. We have COVID times right now, but um, it is something that they, I think, are planning on expanding. So you can sign up to get more information. And also this puts you on a waiting list to access the closed beta. So if you are selected to be part of it as they, you know, figure out which sort of regions they want to test out or have more users, then you can have your name on the list. Who and what is invading the different dimensions in the other worlds is still a mystery. That mystery needs to be solved, Hey, Who loves mysteries? Prof Lynette loves mysteries. Monsters now roam the once calm plains of the other world. Rumors have it that there has been a rupture in the veil between the dimensions. It has turned out to be true. You find yourself as one of the chosen ones who can travel across the veil. Are you ready to become an otherworld hero? Oh man. Come across other heroes, join their adventure, aid them in a fight, or help each other to complete the missions, taking you further along the storyline. So from the news that I was looking at, uh, this past summer the game has been test launched in Sweden, Poland, and Indonesia as the first markets and then it expanded a bit uh, to additional test countries in Europe and Asia to have a larger base to evaluate from because they're trying to figure out, you know, in their testing markets. So that's why, uh, you know, if you want to sign up after you see this and think, hey, this is something I'm interested in, and I am excited. So I don't know, let's just start it. Let's just look at it. I love the aesthetic design of this little skull dude though. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the sound to see if there's sound. Oh. Help, you there. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, grab a we weapon and help me. <laughs> oh no. Tap this button to set up your hero. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, I can be a warrior. 
or a hunter. I don't know. So it, like the kinds of characters I play, I like to be fast and small and hide into things and go from a distance. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna choose hunter. Let's go. I don't know. Let's go. Ooh, look at my bow. Ooh, name your hero. Wizard PhD. Tap the skill button to start a fight. Oh shoot, oh my gosh, wait, what? When a skill button is ready, tap it to do a special attack. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I'm not moving, I'm just tapping this. Thanks, Wizard PhD. I'm schoolboy, by the way. Oh, schoolboy, so cute. You deserve some sort of reward. Here, take this. Is this the Constance Pickering slash Professor Willow of this game? Tap to claim. All right. Completed. I rescued schoolboy. I got some XP. I got some gold and resources. We'll see what this does also. What? You will be dra You will get drafted? <laughs> Uh oh, for what? I love how there's dialogue here. Ooh, ooh, there's options. What if I don't want to fight the invasion? Let's see. Of course you will fight. Ah, we must do all our part for the Uvag tribe. <laughs> oh, it was a thinking. That's what that said. So there was like a talking bubble and a thinking, and so apparently Skullboy can hear my thoughts. I heard that. Oh no. Oh no. I have a terrible feeling about this. Oh, relax, we're almost there. Da, da, da. Okay, permission to download game assets. Let's go. Don't touch the mist. Uh oh, what is that? What's the mist? Classic wizard PhD content downloading assets here. I just wanna see if there are, there's stuff. Oh my God, there is stuff. <gasps> Whoa. Ready to make it in the real world? Skullboy, tell me what to do. Explore the world around you until you find a camp shrine or graveyard. You'll see a yellow exclamation mark if anyone is there. Uh-oh, what do I do when I get there? Just tap it. General Dag is waiting for you and Jess is also around. You got me drafted already. I love how I'm just thinking. I'm not even bothering to speak out loud it's ever since I figured out he can read my thoughts. Your first task is to vanquish all corn rats you encounter for the safety of the Uvag tribe. Oh gosh. Time to explore. Walk in the real world to move your hero. And if there's an exclamation mark I can. Oh, level two. Oh, it looks like, look at my little, uh, my little attributes are increasing as well. I got some gems and some gold. What's this? <gasps> hey, am I mining? Or collecting? Oh man, common resource. Okay, cool. Ooh, a painted lady. So in one of the articles I read, there was a quote in there about this game being like, imagine Pokemon Go and World of Warcraft had a child that was kind of in a mobile game setting. <laughs> that's that's uh, what I think the devs want people to think of this game. But as you can see, I have like a pretty wide radius of things that I can interact with. Let's see how far I can go. So this is me with the little footprints wandering about. Can I interact with this? Oh man. Oh man! Oh no! Oh gosh. I'm like, go, 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 buddy. Oh wait, I'm gonna die. What happens if I die? What do I do? Oh, I have a healing potion. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't have wasted that because... <laughs> oh no. Can I dodge? I guess I never, uh, it's hard, it, it's probably gonna be hard for me to do here. Oh, I died. Defeat. Oh no. Oh wait. Repair. You see this? My bow looks like it's taken damage, like all my equipment has taken damage, but I can spend gold to repair. Oh wait, let's, let's see, what does this say? Oh, it right looks like there's <laughs> it looks like there's ads in this game. <laughs> Some of y'all know how I feel about ads. 
Oh, I can watch an ad to repair instead of... Did it spend my gold? I don't know. I don't know what just happened, but it looks like the damage has been repaired. Okay, so I'm just a level two. I'm not gonna do that, like, level six one again. <laughs> but look at what's around, oh man, so you can see the levels of these foes. Let's see, can I do this? It's too far away. Do you see my, my radius? When I click on this. Oh man, come closer. Come closer. All right, well, I guess we can try a three. Oh wait, that was something of mine. Common resource. Now I need to figure out what to do for crafting this. All right, let's try. Oh shoot. I'm not fully healed. Is that bad? Oh no! I activated both of them! Uh oh. We'll see. Do I have like a, an attack with splash damage? <laughs> Come on, buddies! You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, switch your focus. Hit the other dude. Alright, I took a healing potion. Chug chug. We gotta get this. I wonder what, um, there's like a little three dot thing to talk. I don't know what this is for. Oh, wait! Attack, I need help, or flee. I can flee! I should have clicked on that for the other one. Oh my gosh, please don't. Don't take the, don't lure the other guy in. <laughs> oh, sweet. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So that's how you obtain your currency is like you, you interact and you fight. I am not willing to fight other things right at this moment. I just have these level six and level eight. Can I get that? No, I can't. All right, what else do I have on here? Oh, here's my active skills. Oh man, oh man. I'm already like super excited about this. What is this? Is this a daily? Daily challenge. Oh, hey, use two potions. Got some gold. Th wow. Oh man, I can't wait to like go out into the world and try this. So it looks like, see that guy was super close to me. It looks like they don't attack me unless I like attack them first. Oh, here's some missions. One small step. Okay, I have to find the general. That was actually the thing that uh, Skullboy told me to do. The revenge of Skullboy. Pest control. Defeat eight at the corner at. Oh, man. Dungeons unlock at level five. Y'all, okay, okay. That gave me a taste of what was happening. I feel like there's a depth in here that I am really looking forward to figuring out. I don't know exactly. Oh, there's a crafting page. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Skullboy is telling me how to craft. All right, so Skullboy says collect resources, unlock recipes, and start crafting. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, so here are my resource, my materials for crafting. <gasps> oh man. Okay, so we really are gonna stop right there because there's a lot that I'm pretty sure I can explore. But I'm really, I'm really amped that there's stuff walking around around me. Um, wow, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Otherworld Heroes, that is, so like I said, it is, um, I'm in the closed beta right now just to explore. I'm in the Discord server, but I will put links down below for you to check out the website, the trailer, and join the Discord if you want. And uh, hopefully they'll be expanding to more countries because I want to I wanna see more of this and it'd be fun uh, to, ha to play with other people in my area, not just me. I mean, it, it'll probably be fine, me playing by myself, but... Like I said, there's I know that there's clans because there are people talking about their clan, and I know that it, they're, the limit, the cap size for a clan is 50. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Like I've been lurking on the Discord server <laughs> to see what other people are doing. But let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of this content, uh, more of this gameplay. It's just another thing, you know. On Twitch, I do a variety of different games. Most of them are first plays, and it's just kind of like me goofing off and just exploring new things, because that's what I like to do. So that's, uh, I hope that this was interesting for uh, another episode of Wizard PhD. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Wands ready. This is like a classic me thing to do of like, oh, I'm done recording and everything. Let's do some more digging. And I found this video 
from I I even forgot to mention like who makes this game Bublar I think is how you say it they're based in Sweden and uh, I mean yes so this is a corporate video that is about the game it started with a very good concept that everybody liked we wanted to make a location-based game we wanted to make it feel like a world and not just a street map and then we wanted people to play together the biggest challenge is that it's location-based which means people are going to play while walking so, so it's cool because they're like oh well we have we to like one make it one-handed play too complex it's combat can't buttons, be complex but too complex we have those buttons so the, the oh, attacks man. you do depend and on I did that. You, you, you saw I got defeated. <laughs> Skullboy is <laughs> One your uh, Skull companion Boy? on this adventure. He is telepathically linked to your character. Skullboy. But who he really is is one of the things you'll find out by playing the game. Who he really is is who you'll find out what you'll find out while playing the game. Skullboy. What is it me? Oh man, here we go. Is this a game where I can theorize? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, back to, back to, I don't know, your regularly scheduled program. 